Barry, another genius, and we see him in the advert with you um, and others for Rangers Christmas. Gaza. So, yeah, I, do you I know what? what? I, I, but that was just a, a dream for me, like mm. kind of as a young boy watching Paul Gascoigne play about with a football. Mm. Honestly, Paul, he was one of my heroes growing up. Like I'm talking about, obviously my hero up here was Ian Durant yep. and then but Paul Gascoigne, just a, a wonderful footballer, a wonderful guy. Um, and just some of the stuff that he used to do with a ball, he was just a an absolute genius. Um, and he trained with him was, was amazing. And then obviously... Spent um, a full day with him doing the, the Christmas advert and he was just, <laughs> he's mad. He's still got pranks and all that. Uh, yeah, did, yeah I, I can't yeah. say some of the pranks he was sure. actually doing because yeah. I would obviously get Family in trouble sure. um, on there. But he was, um, yeah, brilliant, brilliant to see him. And he's looking well, mm -hmm. to be fair. Good. He was looking good. Um, but he was up to all sorts of nonsense when we were obviously trying to rec uh, record the, the advert. But no, what a, what a wonderful footballer. And, and the, Going back to my younger days, the thing that always stands out, out for me was he always took time for the young players. I mean, as a 16-year-old, yeah. and he would always, how was your game? How did you go on last night? Who scored? And I just thought that was a brilliant touch. Yeah. I mean, it's Paul Gascoigne. Mm. A, International superstar. Yeah, yeah. A, exactly. And a, an absolute unbelievable football mm. player. Um, for him to take that wee couple of minutes out, yep. it always stuck with me. And uh, he never forgets you either. You walk in and he was, um, yeah, he was, he was in good form. That's yeah. for sure. How was he to deal with? Media Aye, point of view. Listen, he didn't yeah. get a lot of access to him. He, he yeah. was, um, you know, Walter kind of protected Aye. him, and, and, he, and he had a, he had a, he had a deal with news of the world, so he was very restricted. Well, in what, you what, what the Sunday could, Mail, yeah, so, so yeah. very restricted. But the, the, the time I remember was the summer of '96 yep. in Rangers uh, pre-season. And uh, based in Copenhagen, what was the manager? Actually, he's Wonderful. number two. So I was there for the Sunday Mail. So I, was, I remember just having a coffee uh, with Walter for an hour. Brilliant. He gave me an exclusive, gave me an hour of his time. It was great. But uh, on that trip, uh, young Stevie, Walter's son, mm -hmm. was on the trip. And Stevie might have been, I don't know, maybe 10 years mm -hmm. old or something at that point. And all during the time I'm sitting having a coffee with Walter at the hotel, he's got, he could tell he's got one eye mean and one eye. He says, I'm just keeping a wee eye. He says, because young Stevens jumped about with Gaza he says and I'm not comfortable <laughs> <laughs> with Gaza he says, he yeah. says Ethel will have me yeah. he says if anything happens to, to, to young Stevie so it's one of the ones yeah. where yeah. Stevie wants to hang out with Gaza Gaza's loving the yeah. company of, of Walter's boy yeah. you know the mischief and, and the pranks that we got he says, but, but Walter was in centre hooks yeah. because obviously he says well, I, need be, I need to be careful here <laughs> but it was brilliant and it just you see him in action but when you got up close not even when we was doing interviews it, it was great company and the things that you hear about Paul Gascoigne from all these teammates mm. and that the generosity yeah. he was so yeah. so generous you know as a human being whether it was financially or whether it was just with his his time he was a very very generous mm. man and maybe uh, to later on in life that was yeah. to his cost unfortunately you know? I, I just course, used to sit yeah. at the side sometimes we'd be training with the youth team we'd finish a bit early and we had the chance to go over and, and watch the first team and just sit I remember just sitting on a ball many a times just in awe of the guy yeah. mm. just for what he'd done with a a footballer and, he, he, and another thing about him is how good he was he trained hard like, oh so hard that it was you like his that. last ever training session and that's another thing that, that stood out for me what an example for everybody else was, you can say what you want wow. he's mad as a brush but <laughs> listen what yeah. a yeah. what a genius he a football player and, and a, a, a brilliant guy but as I said it was brilliant to spend the four or five hours with him doing the, the Rangers Christmas advert and Sometimes it had to get cut because it was up to no good <laughs> during the filming, but it was brilliant. And like all the guys and he, even the, the film crew were just amazed. The, the Paul Gascoigne was there.